Hi all, I recently found this video on the Redshift channel about this suction effect with the war noise. And I wanted to recreate inside the Houdini. I will show you how my result was uh, pretty similar. Here is my result. It is very customizable, only need adjust some points and that's all. I will show how, how to make it right now. For that I will use the line soft. Change direction to the Z. Now I need to duplicate it. Use copy and transform soap and I will radially duplicate it. For that I will copy this parameter and here I will be 360 divide by number of count of copies. I will get radial effect the line. Now I need scatter some points on this line. Thousand is too much. We use a hundred. Maybe it's too much as well. Fifty. And now I will use point drop for creating animation for that this suck in, into the center. Points I will connect to the first input and line I will connect to the second input. Now I will use x, y, z distance at position and input to the second output to the line and add a primitive attribute. and connect the line as well. Use prim uv to the prim uv and prim uv here. And here I will type p. We reconstructed the points and now we need to animate them. For that I will use vector to float and float to vector connect premium to vector and reconnect them except uh, this x value for that i will add the value and Add this to the preview V. Here I will promote this parameter and it's animatable. But we need to somehow recreate the loop. For that, I will add fraction and now. It will be looping the ends will be jump to the start of the points. Now I need just animated how for that I will use time expression time multiply the but now we need it to reverse it. And we have the suction effect. Now I use the Voronoi fracture. And here I will add grid. Change the scale to the 2, 2, 2 and 2. For clean grid and add it 
here we have the suction effect. Now I add need to add some this some sky at scaling factor. For that I will use primitive warp. And generate this gradient from the center. The length here I will add ramp for better controlling the, the scaling and export it as Z-Scale Fine Export uh, it will be Z-Scale now I will add extrude polygons extrude it Use the individual polygons and here I will activate the scale. And I have the scale animation. Here I will also need to change a little bit to the spline. Only I need add some color for that. I will use color. Here I will be uh, RAM from attribute. Here I will type the Z scale. Now I can add more points, add more lines, some power in map it for better. Have the similar effect. Thanks for watching.